to stylish Niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i appreciate you guys if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already i would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and then hit on that bell to, to get an update on uh, whenever i upload a new video this and um, illustration that i'm about to do this video if you find it helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like and button so um actually guys i actually started and um, for those that are new i started a series of neckline and um, videos some time ago so i have trendy and uh, necklines video on my channel and then i have um mono strap necklines on my channel also so i'm going to drop the links down on the description box so if you want to see those necklines you could um, just and um, click on it and then watch them so today i'm going to continue with my series i'm going to be doing and the illusion neckline and i'm going to be using the, the standard and measurement for illusion necklines and these are going to be really um decent and to put on the first uh, i'm going to be treating um for today so if you find the ones that i have here if you have other ones you could send me the picture on facebook i would um continue with the series so the first one i'm going to do i'm going to be doing the scallop illusion neckline yes when i say scallop scallop is like really in vogue now so i'm going to be doing so i have my basic and um, bodies here we're going to be doing it on the basic bodies if you are making it of a bust here so after coupling that's after joining the sides and you could also cut out the neckline so guys let's just get started so I have some basic lines here. This is my bust line. This is my under bust and then my waistline. So this is just like your bodies. For those that are not a new um, sewers, you should understand what I mean. So for the new ones, you could watch my video on basic bodies. You understand this more. So we're just going to get started. So I folded into two. We're going to be doing the scallop neckline. So from the picture you see up there, you see that the the scallop neckline most illusion neckline they usually get to the half and cut area which is like the waist um, measurement so this is my waist measurement as from the shoulder to waist i'm going to be making use of 17 inches for the sake of this illustration so we're just going to go straight um, to the business of the day so when making scallop necklines like this the first thing to consider so this is my shoulder measurement which i'm actually making use of 14 inches so this is like seven when you divide into two so you're just gonna we're gonna use the standard uh, neckline measurement for this which is on 3.5 that's the width of the neckline is going to be 3.5 inches so if you want it wider for somebody that is a plus size you could make use of four inches but regular normal size three and a half inches is just ideal for this so i'm just going to measure three and a half and inches here and then we're going to be working with the waist measurement because it's actually cut up to the waist and pad that's where the half cut of the dress is so this is it here this is my waistline and then i'm just going to come to this point here like this this um down part of my waist and me line measurement i'm going to measure one inch to this side so this is like my one inch i'm going to be referencing it i'm going to come back to that so from this point i'm just going to create a v to and this and down part like this so i'm just going to use my long ruler to do this so i'm going to use um, my ruler i'm just going to connect it straight down to this point so i'm connecting it to this point but note this a uh, one inch point i'm not going to to cut it out there's something i'm going to do so i'm just going to connect it like this and to this or to the one inch point like this and then now we're going to start creating our scallop so in creating our scallop you could decide to make use of one and two inches interval or you could decide to make use of two and a half but if it is um a regular v that's maybe like a just a short um a shorter neckline i would advise you make use of two inches interval but since this is a plunging and um, one because it's an illusion i, I advise you use three and um, sorry to use two and a half inches because two and a half inches it will make the scallop it will not be too much and then, then it will be easy to sew and then when you sew the shape will really come out well other than that but if you want to use two inches two inches is still id so we're going to start measuring so from the top point we're just going to mark two and a half inches like this we're just going to 
mark you mark another two and a half we're just going to mark it all the way down to our waistline so this is our two and a half inches so you see we have like a tiny inch like half an inch so we're going to i'm going to show you what to achieve with that so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to come to the center of this point depends on how um, white you want your scallop to be how curvy so you could use half an inch or you could decide to make use of one inch so i'm just for this one i'm just going to make use of one one inch um intervals so with that it will it will bring out my scallop and um, properly that's just like the essence so from the line i'm just creating one inch so for this last one i'm going to use um half an inch so it's not going to get up to one inch because you see it is a little bit closer so that's that so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to create my scallop so creating my scallop i'm just using this point as a guide so you see what i'm going to do i'm just going to create like a, a round and curve like this i'm just going to creating a round curve like this the essence so i'm going to use my pattern uh, i'm going to use my curve to straighten them out but i just want you to see how it is done for those that don't have curves so you see what i'm doing i'm using this one inch this and um, that was the essence of the dot just like a reference for me to know how to curve it you understand so i don't curve some too small some too big so when i get to this point this point that's the remaining half inch i'm just going to do this once i get to this point i'm just going to do this see what i'm going to do you see what i did i just slanted it out so like a a v like this so you see what i'm doing i just want you to note it that will give it like a a, a pm shape down there so i'm just going to blend with my pattern curve now so guys we're going we're just going to cut out now so in cutting you're just going to come like this and then you're going to start from this point and then you're just going to curve it follow your curve so when you get to this point you're just going to take it like this okay so i've cut it out now so i'm just going to open it up for you to see so you see what i was talking about so this and um, point this is that pier part that i was talking about that was why i said you should and um, the last part you just create like a, a slant down to the down point so this is our and um, scallop illusion neckline so all you have to do is just you put your your net in when you're sewing so you could decide to take the net up to the top or you could decide to make it's up to this and uh, half point so it depends on what you want so i'm just going to keep this and then we'll move to our second illusion neckline okay guys so i'm going to be doing on the second and uh, neckline now so for this uh, second neckline i'm just um the first thing you are going to do so it is like a, a pier like a diamond inside actually so the first thing you are going to do we're still using our basic body so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to create out and the the top part of the neckline is like a a boat neckline so i'm going to use four inches for this because it is wide but it is not deep so four inches is ideal for a bigger person you could use five inches so i've marked out four inches so from this four inches point i'm just going to mark a measure 1.5 inches depth you could make use of two inches so i'm just going to dot it out like this and then i'll i'll cut it i'll um i'll just mark it out to create my round and um, boat neckline so the next thing i'm going to you're going to do now you're going to determine how and um, deep you want and that v part to be that's on the center so from the picture you can see you're going to determine that 
so for this from the top you always measure from the top so from the top i'm going to make use of nine inches so this is like my nine inches so i'm going to mark the nine inches here so i'll just connect it straight with a straight line so i'll use it as reference and point so this is nine inches so from this nine inches point you are going to measure out your bust span measurement so for this the bust span measurement that i'm going to be making use of i'm going to make use of 4.5 inches and then plus five plus half an inch which is five inches so our bust span that's where your dart for bust here where it normally cuts through for those that don't know so i'm just going to mark it like this and then i'm going to come you are going to determine how high you actually want that v part to be you, you determine that by yourself but for this and um, sake i'm going to be making use of about and three inches or 2.5 it is ideal for this um and this kind of neckline it is just three inches is just perfect so from your bust and span line i'm just going to measure the three inches so this three inches is going to be like my my the height that's the curve height that's just like the peak of my uh of my um what do you call it the peak of the pyramid yeah because uh, of the pyramid and parts of the neckline so this is like the peak of the, the pyramid so and then you're going to come to your to your armhole line so from this armhole line we're just going to create like an arc like this and then it's going to be coming down so for this down part that's the side that's the down part where your v is going to be you're going to determine how wide you actually want it to be you can decide to make use of one inch you can decide to make use of half an inch so depends on what you actually want so for this i'm just going to make use of half an inch so what i'm going to do this is just what i'm going to do it's just simple so from your armhole you're just going to create like this and then you use your arc that's this point that's going to be your reference part and then once you get to that arc once you climb once you ascend to the arc you start coming back down and then you blend it in from the half inch that you made so like i said it's really simple and easy like i normally say i know some people will say what is simple and easy it is really simple and easy if you say it is really simple and easy it will be simple for you so that's just my belief so for this part i'm just going to use uh, my straight ruler to straighten it out it's not, this part is not really curving or you can decide to make your curve if you want it curved. so you see this side is straight and then this side is curved so this neckline is really beautiful so i'm just going to cut it out now for you to see what i have so the first thing you're going to cut out the top part of the neckline and then we're going to cut this part out like this so once you get to this part Okay, guys, so I'm going to open it up now. That was like my rough. So, guys, you see what I mean? You see how beautiful it is? So, you're going to put your illusion net, you're going to put your tool inside, and then the other one is going to be on top. So, guys, so you see how it is. So you see how beautiful it is. I really love, I really love this neckline. Seriously. So this is like my pyramid um, illusion neckline. So, so guys, I'm so happy it came out beautifully well. So I'm going to do the third one, and so I'm just going to keep this on the side. We're going to be doing the third illusion neckline so the third illusion neckline i'm going to be doing is going to be a plunging v with an um a plunging arc v so you know regular v and neckline you're just going to to create a straight v like this no but this plunging v if you see from the picture above it is like an arc v so it is it is coming up like this so i'm just going to uh, explain it for you before we continue so instead of it normal regular v's are just you're just going to cut it straight like this but this is not coming out straight like you it's going to be going backward like this so you see like an arc it's going to be coming like an arc so i'm just trying to explain before we start it's really simple like i usually say so let's just get started so our illusion neckline three 
So I'm, I'm going to be referencing our waist and measurement because it actually entered into the waistline. That's the half cut. So this is going to be cut off, separated. So I'm just going to um, use. So from the top part, and then there's something I noticed from this neckline. You will notice that the the shoulder. You literally um, will not even find any shoulder there. So. If your shoulder measurement is actually like 14 inches, which is 7, so this is like my 7 inches. So I'm going to be making use of about 6 inches for the width of this neckline because you could find out that no part is literally showing on the on this part. So you are going to make use of about 6 inches. So you're, you're going to be and like almost chopping off a part of the shoulder. So that one inch that is remaining is just like what you're going to use to stitch the sleeve to it. So I'm just going to measure, I'm going to use six inches for this case. So you could set you can make use of six and a half, but six inches is just ideal for this if your shoulder measurement is actually seven, which is 14. So I've measured out uh, my six inches. So I put my mark there and then I'm going to come to this down part now. So I measured out my six inches. So the next thing you are going to um, put into consideration, you are going to come to your bust span line, and then you are going to determine how wide you want it to be on the bust and span point. So for this, I'm going to be making use of about three and a half inches, which is like seven inches. So you see what I mean for a measurement of of um, bust span of like four point five. So I'm going to be making use of three and a half inches. So I'm going to, that's from the bust line, so you're going to put that into consideration. This is three um, points, okay. Three inches is, is okay. Three inches is going to be ideal. So I'm just trying to, to measure it out, how wide you want is going to be on the bust and span, span line. That's on the bust line. And then from the under bust line, you're just going to come to about um, 1.5 inches or 2 inches. So it depends on the case. And then you're just going to, and then when you get to the down part, you're going to use about one inch or half an inch. So we're just going to create, like I told you, we're just going to create like a back flip like this. So I'm using dotted lines just to make it easy. So at the end of the day, we're going to be going like this. We're going to create a back flip and back flip like this so you see what I have it's not like it is a regular straight V that you're just going to cut straight like this so you are creating a back flip you're just going to try to create it from this down point after your measurement you're just going to create it depends on how curve you want it to be so you're going to create it you see the way I'm back flipping, like back flipping my my hands, just to create it out. So it is really simple, like I usually say. So I'm going to cut it out now so the curve so you can see the curve like this so in cutting this out I'm, I'm going to stop it at this point so in order for you to see it so I'm going to cut it like this so when cutting you're going to leave like a tiny half inch that is what you're going to use to join it when you're connecting it to the to the dress so you see what we have so you see the shape I was talking about that was why I was saying it is not like a regular v that is just going to come straight so you see the flip so it's like a flip like this going up or so this part this is where you're not going to attach your sleeve so at the end of the day to look like and there is no a shoulder on it but actually there's just a like one inch where that you are going to use to connect your sleeve so this is our a plunging and uh, v illusion neckline the third one so the fourth one we're going to be doing now <laughs> neckline this i really like and a lot so this one is it's almost like that um, um the pyramid one that we did 
but in another form so we're going to use our basic and bodies and measurements like this also so i'm going to you're going to be using your armhole line as your reference and line so i'm going to so my armhole i actually used eight inches for this because it is not meant to be too and deep so i'm going to be using that point the eight inches point as my reference so i'm just going to mark it like this So I'm going to be using that part as my reference. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to measure my bust and span measurement also. I'm going to measure bust span measurement, which I'm going to be making use of my five inches again. So from this and point now, I'm just going to come to this point, to my bust and line point. I'm going to measure one inch. So I just want you to note all these measurements. And then for this um, type of uh, illusion neckline, it is really slim and really uncovered. It is really covered. That was why I said I really like this a lot. So I'm, for the down part, you're going to use about a quarter of an inch or half an inch for the down part as you're on your waist and line point. And then on the under bust also, you're going to use that same quarter or half an inch. Quarter of an inch or half an inch. And then on the bust line um, point, or you're going to make use of about um, one inch. So from this point, like this, from your from your armhole point, you're just going to create your arc. So I'm, for creating my arc, I'm going to still go up a little bit from my armhole line, which is nine inches. I'm going to go up by one inch. So I'm just going to create create the arc like this so you see what i have so for this point the part where your height is you are going to still use one inch also so in order for you to know when you are dropping it you're just going to still use one inch and then from this point from your one inch point you're just going to come down and then on your under bust line you're going to come to the the half an inch or the quarter of an inch and then you're just going to take it it is really tiny that was what i was saying half an inch or quarter of an inch you're just going to take it like this and then you're going to make sure that it is well straightened out so this one on this armhole part is just straight into your armhole it's not really curved you understand so that's just like the difference you see it it is straight unlike the first one that we did that is slanted but this one is straight it just comes into your armhole straight like this and then it is curved out so you just note this part you use one inch and then on the under bust part you use like um like i was saying you use about a uh, half an inch or one inch depends on how exposed you want that part to be how open you want it to be so i'm going to cut it out now so i'm just trying to double check my measurement so on the bust and part on the bust line part half an inch is ideal for it half an inch and then when you get and down for after the half an inch you're just going to use quarter of an inch all the way down so and then for the top part that's the part of the arc you use one inch so i'm going to cut it out so i'm going to cut it out now so this is you are going to cut when you cut you're not going to cut it out all through so you see what i have you see it is really looking like what we have on the picture so the only thing to do is just for you to replace the top part with a yoke so that's that so in replacing with a yoke you could decide to make use of this one as your yoke all you have to do, you could decide to, to, to replace it like this. All you have to do is just elongate it and then you increase it. That's all. You could just and just increase the, the width of this. You could turn this to your yoke and then just increase the length. Or you cut out a fresh yoke. So guys, I'm just going to place all of them out, all of my necklines. Illusion necklines. I'm going to place them all out for you to see them properly. guys so you could see the, this is um all of our illusion neckline so they are so beautiful so guys like i said if you actually try this out you could uh, send me a picture on stylish niger sewing group on facebook 
So I have not come to the end of this um, video illustration. If you find this um, video illustration helpful, please do not hesitate to hit on the like button and then comment. Give drop a comment. I would appreciate that if you would do that. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much and God bless you.